Yo, what is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this sound from the new upcoming sound bank, My Sound Is Your Sound, by me and Marcelo Seek. So here is the sound that we're making. So now, the sound itself, guys, is pretty much going to be the Ollie, inspired by the Ollie James alarm lead, obviously. It's not identical to it, but it's very similar to it in the way it's programmed. I'm sure the Ollie James lead is just a little bit of a tiny change of increments here. And if you were to do that, you would be able to get it as well. Now, this sound bank, guys, is a sound bank I made with Marcelo Chic, and it's going to be pretty much like Serum Revolution Volume 2, just because of the fucking idea that I worked on it with him. Now, Marcelo Chic, guys, is pretty much a well-known DJ in Brazil. I... I like to say he's the number one DJ in Brazil because he's very well known. Um, however, he's not releasing on spinning records. He has an upcoming remix for this big DJ that's a top five, I believe. And, you know, very, very knowledgeable guy. He's been working behind the scenes for a while, does mixing and mastering for people. Um, very well known guy, and it was an honor to work with him. I've been working with him for, I believe, like two years now. So it was found that we were going to make a sound bank together now the sound itself guys is pretty standard we're going to talk a little bit about what makes it it and then the simplicity of it and how you can get great sounds like this just being simple okay so first off our first wavetable that we use is going to be the basic shapes wavetable this is going to give you access to the silent one standard wavetables which is like the saw the sign the triangle the square the cute poles and all that shit now in here we're using a variant of the square i believe which is going to be the cue pulse in Silent One. So if you're trying to imitate this, you can sort of imitate it on pretty much Silent One, except for a couple of things. Now, we're using this one because, again, it's a square. It sounds very nice. You can even go with the cue pulse. Now, the first thing we do is add a modulation of PWM, which we have chosen our square wave. And this is going to pretty much what I like to call squish... Um, pretty much... Oh, what the fuck? They're gonna, it's going to squish the shit out of the... The wavetable, that's what the way I like to explain it. Pretty much imagine you're choking yourself, and the more you choke yourself, the more your sound thins out. The wave the PWM does the exact same thing. So if I were to play it. You can see it kind of thins it out. It's like you can kind of think like it's a high pass on it. <laughs> In a way. I like the way the sound it gives, and a lot of sounds are achieved this way using the PWM to get that. Now, the next thing that we have here that's different is that we have the R and phase all the way pretty much down. This is just to kind of imitate that effect in Silent One of having the retrig on, which pretty much just makes the phase start over again when you change notes, equaling in a more powerful sound that hits harder. So the R and phase is up all the way by default, and I always like to turn it down whenever I'm working on these type of sounds. Now, the phase is set to any, you can pretty much set it anywhere you want, but the trick here is just to apply an LFO to it and change it at a very small rate. This is going to give the sound that kind of very fast feeling or very gritty effect. Now, if you know sound design, you know when you hear that effect, but a lot of people aren't able to pick it up. And that's going to be the effect of like it moving so fast that it just gives you this kind of really fast that it just sounds gritty. So that's what we did here. LFO 2 is routed to phase, and then LFO 1 is routed to the pitch. Again, we're doing fast modulation to the pitch at very minimal increments, which is going to give us that effect. If we were to do it higher, though, you can see that it starts to fuck up. So anywhere from 3 is fine, as you can see there. Now, the next thing is in envelope 3, we have this kind of pitch thing to it, which is going to pretty much increase the pitch at a very fast attack so the attack is set to 26 milliseconds everything else is set to zero and you're going to put this on your crs and i believe this is going to work in one way and yeah it's going to be working in one way so you go into here and you're going to pretty much click here wherever your envelope whatever you use is and you're going to make it go in one direction this is just going to create the effect of you know making it punchier and with the decay you can kind of make it even punchier just by adding zero attack zero sustain zero release and a little bit of decay <laughs> You want to do it fast because then you get that kind of feel, 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 kind of laser sounds as you guys saw and if that's what you want then go for it the next thing i put the envelope three on is going to be the level of it just to make it fucking hit the level goes max volume and it returns back to the normal volume very fast which again gives you an initial boom hit it's just techniques that have been used you know quite a lot i've used them in almost all my sound banks and i still use them to date as you guys see now, the sound itself, this is where you cannot imitate it in Silent One. It's because of the hyper feature in, in Serum, 
Now, the hyper feature is going to allow us to pretty much, you know, add more unison. Number of voices on each channel, left and right. It's just going to increase it. Remember, unison just means pretty much the amount of, you know, these type of wavetables coming out of this oscillator. The more you have, the louder the volume, and then you can detune them and get super sauce if you were to use sauce and whatnot. So here, pretty much, we have the mix set to 89%. It's going to be fairly wet. Unison at 4 by default. Some detunement at 25%, and the rates at 16%. Now, the chorus... <laughs> It's gonna add this kind of nice little feeling to it, but we're not gonna add it for this tutorial. I don't think it's necessary. And plus it's turned off, so I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> oh my god. Now, the th thing about Serum that I really like is the OTT in it. If you use the OTT on any sound, you can turn it into some bangish sound. It's overused if you see every fucking sound bank out there with wobbles and dubstep type of sounds, growls. They utilize the OTT all the time because it makes stuff sound more brighter and it makes us sound more gritty as you can see the difference without it it sounds very muddy but with it on it gives us the power we need to take this lead to the next level okay so now the reverb is just a standard reverb guys a little bit of size down and a little bit of decay at 4.6 that's pretty much it the eq is just take getting rid of the lows very easily you click here which gives you a pretty much a low pass or low shelf and getting rid of that and then over here we just boost it by a tiny bit to make it a lot more brighter and it gets that higher frequencies coming out in essence making your sound sound louder perceived louder um, because again higher frequencies have higher perceived loudness than lower frequencies which allows you to create a louder sound without fucking up your rms levels with that being said guys that's pretty much the sound itself it's fairly simple as you guys saw this is going to be a sound from the new pretty much sound bank with marcelo c called my sound is your sound not house madness we changed the name it's going to contain sounds from justin milo from mike williams from tiesto and mike williams from mesto i'm kind of giving away already the leads and shit um it's gonna contain sounds for g house from mala it's gonna contain progressive house it's gonna contain pretty much almost every genre except trance trap and pretty much you know it dubstep which is rarely getting overdone now and also future bass is not in this because again there's a lot of companies out there already making sounds for these and i want to make sounds for people that have been following me for a while that love the type of music i love which is pretty much again some of the generic stuff and some of the underground house stuff which this sound like has anyways guys thanks for tuning in and hopefully you support me i'll make a video tomorrow as always and i'll see you guys next time take care and have a good night ninjas